How's it going, everyone? It's your boy Big D here. It's time to review Falling Sky Season 5, Episode 5, titled Non Essential Personnel. Spoiler review, guys. If you have not seen the episode, go to tt.com slash falling skies, watch uh, the full episode there. And uh, let's get right to it. It should take me less than three minutes to recap the episode, give you my opinions, pros and cons, and final score. Don't forget, my vacation review is finally up with Ed Helms, of course. New comedy. Uh, real quick, I was on Facebook, and, um, well, real quick story. Ooh, savage. Anyway, I was, uh, they did, you know, I'm in, the, I'm in this group, and they were like, alright, we're gonna start off in the comments, who, the person above you, what do you thought, man, blah, blah, blah. Real quick, I, I know if you're older than this, you really don't care, but real quick, real quick. And there was this hot girl right there, and I was like, oh, yes, you know, just to say, I don't know the person, I'm just, I'm just going along with the game. I put yes, and a guy ended up commenting right when I put yes, and we put yes at the same time. And I was like, he thinks I meant like for him, like, like not in a gay way. I mean, like, I was like, oh crap, no, and he was like, no, and I was like, no, no, you, no, not you, the girl. It was like really crazy. I don't know. I'm a wild and crazy guy. Anyway, let's get right to it. Um, holy crap, I'm sorry. I, I just, I just took him. Did I take your precious minute? That minute you could have used for oxygen? Anyway. So, Sheriff Pope arrives into town, remember? You have failed the city. But of course, Pope's gonna be like, Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. Trying to be a Bruce Campbell now. So Sheriff Pope saves the day. He sorts people out. Has Tom on a... Basically, he has Tom on a chase. Hal is locked up. Pope is super angry, man. And let me tell you... This episode tops last week's episode, and I can honestly say, guys, that this Falling Skies, it honestly feels, just this past three, two episodes, literally feels like it could be the best Falling Sky season yet. And I know it's too early to tell, we're on the fifth episode, but I literally feel like this could be the best Falling Skies season yet. If they don't mess up, of course, the next couple weeks, but it's great so far. So Pope's angry and everything, he, he, he basically tells Mason, Don't mention her name, Sarah, basically. And, uh, he cuts Hal's arm, and wow, Pope has gone batshit crazy, let me tell you that much. Isabel is to heal, um, basically, you know, wound, uh, heal the wound of, um, uh, Hal. And basically, the second mass is attacked on the road. Weaver walks inside to talk, uh, to negotiate with a man who's firing at them. Weaver is literally shot in the arm, but Weaver's okay, and basically Anne goes checks on him. He's like, I got this, Anne. So Pope is teasing uh, water with Hal, dude, and he's like, and he spits it out, and he's like, he basically pulls a gun to Hal, and he's like, without my dad, you would be nowhere. We wouldn't be here. We would be dead a long time ago. Do it, you coward. And I was like... You see this? This is an underrated show. Where was this in season three? In season four? Where was this? Where was this acting, this high potential acting, this dialogue, this writing, the, the way that it's performed? Now it feels apocalyptic. Now it feels real. Where was this? I love Falling Skies. It could be the Walking Dead quality sometimes in episodes. I believe so. But where was this? Where was this many years ago? It took five years to get to this potential. I believe it could have been shown before, but... He has a gun to his head and everything, and Pope's face, dude, he's insanity. You believe that the actor who plays Pope has gone crazy, and it's viable. So, basically, Weaver attempts to fight back. Doesn't work. Tom meets the exiled people that Pope exiled earlier. He gets information there. Pope kills this guy. Literally, the guy's injured, and he's like, can he walk? I don't know. What do you mean? You're the medic. I don't know. Uh... <sighs> No liability. And I'm like... And all the guys, like, the people who've been following in the past episodes are kind of like... I want Anthony to be like... <sighs> Pope. And then be dead. I don't know. Like... 
whatever, that type of thing. But, uh, whatever, you know, just I'm going on with the day. Isabel plans on leaving. The guys got the second mass stuff, like the, the group they have their their cars and their guns. And Tom sneaks in to where Pope Pope's hideout, the bowling alley. He sneaks in, he passes Anthony and everything. He's basically being Sam Fisher from Splinter Cell. And literally he walks in front of the bowling alley and who walks out? Pope. Pope he looks at Ma Mason and Mason looks at Pope and it's kinda like like this is Pope right here. And then like oh my god dude. You don't know how I was reacting when I saw this. I'm honest. Oh my god I was like I was a girl. I was happy as a little girl. You know the way Mike Myers says it, baby. I was like... <gasps> oh, I thought Pope was dead. I thought that was it. Like, Pope was like... Poof. I was like, holy crap. Oh, my God. I don't know how. I don't know why I was reacting like that. But Pope is shot. How and Isabel escape. And Mason sees that they're escaping. He's like, get out of here. Mason versus Pope. It's about to go down. It's about the final count. It's the final countdown. All that. And Mason is literally taken away by a hornet. He's like... <laughs> I bet Pope's literally like... Huh? You're still a coward, Mason. One of these days, Mason, I'll get ya. Literally, Mason was like, Goodbye, Pope. <laughs> he was <just> taken away. <laughs> so funny. Tom Mason was never seen again. So Weaver has this big old speech, man, and a very great monologue. And, uh, and the guy, his kids are dead. They end up negotiating with the guy, and uh, basically, he's like crying because his family's dead and he's like my baby and everything so they end up recruiting him to the second mass and Pope at the end he's uh, lying down and his face is scarred just like the last ship spoilers but anyway he's like where is he fate of black what did I think about this episode overall excuse me no, no. What did I think about this episode overall, guys? Let me get to the pros first. Pope. Pope, baby, is the reason for the season, baby. The reason for the season for the Emmy nominations. He got snubbed. Um, wow. I really wasn't feeling it when Pope broke bad, but now... He was always meant to be this way, man. He's a bad boy, but he's 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 a bad boy now. He's a bad boy. Uh, I love the action in here, man. I love the way that's written. I, it feels apocalyptic. And, I mean, it's always felt apocalyptic, but Weaver, Weaver's dialogue and the writing for him and the way that it goes back to you know with his daughters and everything. It really goes deep down emotional into it, and you want to cry. And the monologues that. Um, Weaver has to, the actor, he has to do, it's just, it's, I'm amazed how he does it. It's scary and it's intense. It's a very scary thing because you fear for Weaver. I thought Weaver got shot and I was like, that's it. It feels like a Weaver that they're going to let go of Weaver this time. It's scary. You feel for these characters. You're scared of Pope. Pope scares you. He's literally there in the bowling alley and he's like, you're a medic. What if I tell you I have a man strapped in the back? What if I told you he took something that was important and priceless to me? That right there. That's what gets me, man. I love the ending on how... I like how... I, you know, I'm not really digging that Pope is scarred. 
But um, I, I just enjoy the way that. Well, he's pissed off. If he's ready to go after Mason. Sooner or later, it's going to get repetitive, but for now, it's pretty good. Uh, How and Isabel. I don't really want a relationship, but uh, I think they worked well together, and I think that, well, they, they got out of Dodge, straight out of Compton. Just went straight out of Compton. Yeah. What is it? Yo, Dre. I got someone to say. Anyway. Uh, I love the opening. I really do enjoy the opening where Sheriff Pope saves the day. And I love the directing of that, man. The, the camera angle and how the ca it's a It's a continuous one shot where it follows that character. And it goes here. It goes to Isabel. And she, everyone, they're struggling. The, the, the safe zone is literally about to get demolished. And Pope saves the day. Anthony is like, What's up? How's it going? Sheriff John Pope. But you can call me John McClain. McCain? John McClain? McClain. Bruce Willis. John McCain? John McCain. McClain. Wait, McClain. McCain? <laughs> McCain. Wait. McLean. Who's the president and who's Bruce Willis? <gasps> I don't know. I'm, I'm officially old. I don't remember. Wow, I don't remember. Who is it? Wow, I'm getting old here, man. I'm already forgetting McLean. McCain. That's bad. I don't remember. So, yeah, that definitely. And Tom and Pope. They have the best scenes together, I, I just have to say. And I love Pope's way he talks and the way he understands things. It's just very good, Mason. Uh, the cons. The one thing that I really hate is that his face is scarred. And that same night, an hour later, in the last ship, well, before the last ship, the guy gets his face scarred. This one... Pope gets his face scarred in the same exact area. Are you kidding me? Is it coincidence? I think not. Also, they're going slow with the whole Weaver part. I get it's intense and dramatic, but it's the final season. I, I understand if you could have done half of the episode like that, but not the full freaking episode. Weaver was taking forever to fight back with this guy. Fight back. You knew his kids were dead because he was crazy. Because when he was like, what do you mean? You had daughters. Then at that moment, I was like, he, his kids are dead. He's psychotic. You wasted the whole episode going slow. Also, Weaver lost a lot of blood. Are you sure he should even still be alive? Like, walking? And is it just me? Or honestly, be honest here. Has the skitter effects gotten worse? The skitter effects look like crap. I'm sorry. They look bad. The, the skitters look so fake. Really fake. Like, they make their skin a little bit more lighter. Like, lighter? Darker. Lighter? Darker. Lighter? Darker. Don't you see where I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen? Overall, I'm going to give this Fallen Skies episode an... A minus. It's great. I have given a lot of A minuses today, but this one's just great. It's my favorite episode out of season five of action wise and what Pope's doing. And definitely when Pope uh, broke bad last week, that was even better. In episode three, when Sarah died, that was emotionally hit me so hard. In episode four, that topped episode three. And now episode five topped episode four. So was episode six going to top episode five? I really damn hope so. I want Florence guys to do the best it can on this final season and not be one of those horrible final seasons. I want them to be spectacular. Ladies and gentlemen, comment down below. Let me know what did you think about the Florence guys episode. And until next time, may the Spock be with you always. We need a new motto. Come up with a new motto. Maybe you'll get a shout out. Probably not probably will. What?